Well, miracle of all miracles. Um, actually, today there's nothing pressing, is there? There's nothing pressing. I've done the TV bracket. So that had to be done to get the telling out the room. The shelves in the back that we've been working on since Christmas have been done. There's one set of shelves to do, and we've done this to make space and try and tidy up. Um, we've done the Scout Crafter Challenge, haven't we? And where is it, by the way? I don't want to lose it. Where the, where did I? Anyway, Scout Crafter Challenge has been done. Uh, actually, actually, today I'm going to get round to being doing some tidying. Woohoo! Miracle of miracles! So we are at the moment of truth where we're going to unveil. The shuttering. Hmm, what am I expecting? From here up, that's fine. It's going to be nice and smooth. The bottom, we put the plastic. Plastic did a bit too much of a good job. So we might have to cut it all up, cut the plastic off, and maybe plaster it to make it look nice. So it's not going to look nice down here. It might not look so nice down here. <clears throat> but we got our fixings. So that did what we wanted. I'm not sure if that's level. I think the top is coming out slightly. I'm expecting it to be dead square here-ish. A square, a Reggie square, so we can continue this way. Whatever surface we put on, we've got the square and we've got the level. So, uh, hmm. Moment of truth. Let's undo everything. Um, just slacken off the bolts. Take these out. If it doesn't pull, don't pull it. Just tap it and it'll release itself. We've come up in three lifts, haven't we? The top's okay. It's level enough for us to deal with when we get there. Yeah, because we don't know what we're going to do with this yet, but we know we wanted this like this, didn't we? So, come on. Without further ado, let's do a bit of unveiling. So the one good thing about these TED screws is you can pull them out. Remember, we put this in here to hold it. We can simply pull it out. If that was a nail, You'd, you'd struggle to pull that out nice and level. Um, you'd have to be careful with each one. All we've done is put the the the, um, the, the driver and drove them back out. So these are ultimately reusable as many times as you want, really. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, as suspected. The plastic have done too good of a job. Yeah. You can cut the plastic. I mean, you can put a board on it and hide it. It's going to do the job. Or you can um, cut all this plastic off and then plaster it up. Let's have a look what this side looks like now then. Let's take that screw out and undo this bolt here. So again, this screw came out untouched, didn't it? That's ultimately reusable, the one that went in there as well. Hmm. We've got a little bit of flashing here. Don't know what we'll do with that. Come on, it's, it's a bit tight. It needs a bit of tapping when it's tapping. Don't pull it, because you might pull something with it. So you just tap it. Help it release. There we are. So let's see. Ooh. Oh, it'll be all right. I think it's going to be all right. Let's do this one. Just need to tap in as well. Expected this here. It's not going to bother us. Hold on. We need to give that a bit more abuse. Let's get this out first. And we, do you remember, we, there was plenty of room underneath, so it should wiggle out. Hold on, I need two hands for this. Let me just release this. Well, came out not bad. This top was better. Remember, we did it in three. Remember, we um, this was closer than I wanted it to be in the end. By the time we tightened it up, so that hole could have been deeper. But anyway, we got our secure fixings in the bottom. It's come up lovely. That's the trouble. This was one board at one height and this was another board at another height. So that's where you get this step and this roughness. 
we should have done it with the one board all the way we had a little bit overflow here we knew about this is where that wood is but that doesn't matter now what does matter is how level how straight that is it's a bit yeah it's a bit they are it's a little bit out we can live with that because we're going to put one big we're going to put one big board here now all the way at the top <coughs> like this is all the way to the top because this will be the shelves we think so anyway when we get there let's have a look at squareness look the top has ended up pretty square this bottom here look which is what we wanted there we are look that's pretty square isn't it which is what we wanted we wanted that to be like that didn't we look at that we've got we've achieved what we wanted to achieve yeah so we'll let that dry a little bit that doesn't matter because it didn't come out any further than that was going to come out anyway so we can make our shelves come out this way now it's going to be and you see look you're not going to be governed by this top edge you're going to be governed by there so that is yeah i think we've done all right you know we're going to be able to go from here now onwards and do our shelves yeah as we go up because everything because this is the furthest sticky out bit we'll build the shelves from here forwards and yes it'll have a gap like all these have got a gap behind them we haven't um really addressed that yet have we we've built them to the front you look all of these of one sort or another there's a space behind them yeah but as you can see look the front is okay so we're going to build to the front to make the front look nice and everything else will fit backwards except we haven't really addressed that yet backs of the shelves yeah so hmm i'm not worried about that because we're gonna make a face on here aren't we so we could either if we want to leave that as a piece of concrete across there we could do that um no need to chop that off ordinarily now would be the time to chop it i think we're just going to put a piece of wood here whenever the shelves are we'll bridge across we'll get a board or a plank or something and we'll hide it this <clears throat> it's still got the strength in it this is it's rock hard behind there we know we're going to have to cut this off we've, we'll probably cut that off or we might use it to secure the board as it goes upwards but it leans this way slightly the leaning pillar of Reggie <laughs> slightly so we might correct it we might not <coughs> well that's the next step is to go from here we've come from we've come from here we've got to here now to continue the shelves so then we'll invent or build or whatever from here onwards that way yeah mm. yeah pity i was a bit too eager putting this plastic in wasn't i yeah i was beginning to do if it was all square like this that wouldn't be bad down the bottom here we didn't take enough care we just banged it in didn't we yeah but it don't matter this <coughs> remember this and this was a pole in the ground wasn't it we should have measured it and pushed this further back so it was just the thread because here's this shaft here but it don't matter it's, it's going to be what it's going to be it's one big solid block and give that a few more days to dry and that's going to be just great for what we wanted to do hmm yeah we've achieved what we want to do we've been using this wood haven't we as shuttering 
So now is the time. Not don't clean it up when you want to use this piece of wood again. Now, whilst it's still soft and easy to clean, now is the time to clean the wood and then put it back in the stores. Because if you just if you don't clean your wood afterwards, um, this stuff will dry really hard onto it and it'll be difficult to get off. So, whilst it's still fairly green the mix now's the time to do any cleaning up of any wood because you don't know what you're going to do with this wood what you're going to need it for you don't know when you're going to use it next do you so clean it and put it back in the stores this is a sulky yes and this is the the arnish the arnish so the bars come along here look so, man, Red, we'll have to get you out. Oh, you, you, we, we all know about the horse's collar. This is the that's the collar, yeah. yeah. Red. And then yeah. th this is where the saddle. The, this is where the seat would have been. Yeah, that's the saddle, Reg. But it's yeah, the saddle and, for that. And, and, and we got the breeching here behind his legs. Oh, yeah. Wow. Young Luke's just doing the reins there. So this, oh, there's the steering. Is that the steering? Oh yeah. This. Oh, that's the. That's the steering. Oh, that's the steering. This ties on there, look. So the, the weight is on the shoulders. Yeah, that's it. Shoulders. That's and a, this, yeah, that's the saddle. Them are the shafts. Yeah. This is the bridging. Oh, bridging. These are the traces. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's all, um, it's all good, in it? And, and and this, the, that will that's go it, tight. Yeah, that's got to be, that's his loose, loose head. Oh, yeah. Just holds in. that, look. It's in belly strap. Yeah, belly yeah. strap. And then this bit, this is the... the bridle. Yeah. yeah, that's what you attach the reins to to steer him, Reg. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Running through here, look. That's it. Yeah, sounds the down, down hang anywhere. Left and right left, a bit. Left, left and right, you've got it. Oh, and, and the blinkers. Yeah, the blinkers are stopping being sure. You can see something in the eye like oh, it's it. going on that's the road. That's how it keeps him straight ahead. And yeah. how old is he? Oh, about I'll thirteen or fourteen. About Ned. fourteen years old, now, Reg. He's old horse. Wow. Yep. Take some maintenance, you know, the f you're either messing with the feet or doing the yep. teeth or yep. they're yep. high maintenance of horse, aren't they? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, he's old now, Reg, and, and he's uh, so, half-sister. So calm. <laughs> I can't believe you're so calm, aren't you, mate? Good way, John. Good way. Ah, right. I'm coming from the back, look like that. Mm. See? You, you, you're twisting your reins, baby. Oh, yeah, with straps. You've always got to keep straps. If you're twisted. Yeah. yeah. You're done. Get on, Rogan. And then. So brakes. It's not got no brakes. The horse is the brakes. The horse is the brake. This is why this is on here. Look. Or the the when the horse stops round that, the bum. Yeah, that pulls the cart. Stops the cart. Oh, stop from running into. You've got it, Reg. Yeah. Me. Isn't it good? Nice something to do on a nice day like this. Well, you know, obviously I'd rather an engine and a throttle, but you know. This is horsepower number one. Yes. Ah, right. How diesel or petrol required? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. See you later. Reg, God All bless right. you, kid.